welcome and thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your April 2021 tarot card reading. For this month, we're going to pull three tarot cards to look into the personal development side of what this month can offer. And then we're going to pull an oracle card to just explore that more spiritual side of what may be happening. But this is a general reading and I hope that you do get something from it. But if you would like to reach out for your personal one-to-one -one consultation with me, I'd be honored to work with you and I'll leave that info in the description box down beneath this video as well as your free three card tarot reading if you would like to explore that but without further ado let's get into this month and see what the cards hold for you hello scorpio and welcome to your april 2021 tarot card reading so let's have a look at what is on the cards for you this month scorpio so the first card that comes up is the devil I always really like it when this card makes an appearance, right? Because it is a very um, pointed card. It's telling us something very uh, specific. The devil here represents our materialism, the material world, everything that is not spiritual. It's more of a man-made construct. And these two little fawns, in this case, tied up, are chained to the rhythm, you know, they're chained to um, the system and they're chained to the way that things are always done. They may even be chained to um, some bad habits or greed, you know, attached to money, attached to um, different substances, attached to toxic relationships. And what this card asks us to do when it comes up is just to have a little look at the things that we might be unhealthily attached to that are not serving us in a good way and finding a way to try and cut these chains uh, and move away from those bad habits. It could even be replacing a bad habit with a good habit. So for example, uh, if we've been going through a time of, of stress and we've been reaching for the cookie jar, um, maybe we reach for the piece of fruit instead. So the, the trigger is still there to, to want to you know eat something but it's replaced with something more nutritious. Um, and that's just a very simple way in which the devil card works. If it is indeed to do with toxic relationships, it's a bit of a sign really to think about the people and situations, uh, Scorpio, that you are involved with in life. Are the people that you're surrounded with making you feel safe or making you feel like a better person? Or are they leading you into situations that you know that are not good for you um, or pushing you uh, too much where you feel like you're not uh, necessarily in control of your life. So a lot to consider with the devil card, but it is a real opportunity to see what needs changing and to take some action steps upon that this month, Scorpio. And I feel that you will be supported in that process. The next card that comes up for you for the month of April is yet another major arcana card. So this is a very important month for you, Scorpio, because major arcanas really do represent big uh, decisions or changes or milestones in our life. Here you have the Pope, the Hierophant. It's so funny that you've got, you know, the Pope and the Devil right next to each other here. The Hierophant uh, represents tradition, represents doing things by the book. When this card comes up, it's not asking you to necessarily think completely out of the box. Sometimes sticking to a more tried and tested way of being is actually very good for us. For some of you that may have had a very traditional upbringing and you've broken away from it to find your own spiritual path, it's not to say that all the things you learned in the past won't be good. For example, I was raised as a Catholic and I still hold a lot of what I learned very dear. Um, I still hold the teachings of Christ very dear, even though I'm a tarot reader and people would think that that doesn't um, go together. But there are certain moral lessons and, and things that I learned from that upbringing that I hold on to. And there are other things that weren't so good about that upbringing that I've let go of. So when this card appears, we don't have to distance ourselves completely from our traditions or completely from our past. Um, sometimes traditions can be very important, 
very good to us, particularly if they're family traditions. It gives us a sense of self. It gives us a sense of identity and belonging. So whilst you're breaking away from some things that don't serve you, there are going to be some things that are a bit more uh, traditional, a bit more um, sort of conservative that are going to help you in some way this month. So stick into the uh, tried and tested road and not trying to break the wheel 100%. I think we'll get you through this month a lot more smoothly, Scorpio. The final uh, tarot card that comes up for you this month is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of harvest. It is a card of bringing in the rewards of the hard work that you have labored tirelessly over. Um, okay, it's not the Ten of Pentacles where you're just sitting back and, you know, completely enjoying everything, but you are able to, you know, see some kind of progress, see some kind of transition, something really um, changing in your situation. So, you know, how wonderful is this? You start the month off, Scorpio, by thinking, I gotta let go of these things that are just not good for me anymore. And then the middle of the month, you're thinking, okay, there are things from my tradition, there are things from my upbringing that have made me the person I am today. And I can start a new life, but I don't have to, you know, cut cords with everything. Um, and I, I'm going to stick to a more traditional way of doing things to, to get the job done. And that really is going to bring some vast rewards into your situation. So I'm really excited for you this month, Scorpio, because you've got these two mages. And then we finish off the month with this, um, you know, very sometimes financially uh, abundant card because pentacles do represent our material plane, but in the positive way, uh, rather than the devil who represents the material, the bad side of materialism. And um, this is the good side of materialism where you work hard uh, or you work smart and you get the rewards for that work rather than fritting your uh, rewards away um, in a way that doesn't serve you. So we're going to have a look at what your dragon uh, guide says for you this month, Scorpio, this dragon oracle card. Wow, okay, the card that comes up for you says Avery Matriarch. Whether you're male or female, and I don't just mean that in terms of gender, it's how you um, connect to that energy. Um, some of us have more of one en energy than the other. Um, but it's asking you here that, there is something about a matriarchal system that either repels or appeals to you. What do I mean by this? If we think about the law of rhythm, extremes are never um, a good thing, really, because if we live in a society that is too, too patriarchal, then we aren't able to explore that more feminine side of our nature, um, that more empathetic side of our nature. It all becomes very much about action, 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 grab, grab, grab. However, if we move too much towards a matriarchal uh, society, then sometimes the males in our situation can feel emasculated sometimes um the females in our situation have to take on two roles instead of one and it bears its own set of problems because whilst we're feeling and empathetic and very protective over our situation um it doesn't always have the thrust that is needed to push forwards so finding that balance within our own lives is very important because we all have that masculine and feminine energy. Um, I personally really like sort of wearing uh, the boy look. I've always been the same since I was a kid. Um, boys clothes have always appealed to me. Um, however, I'm very much into doing my hair and makeup at the same time. So that's just a little way that I explore uh, my masculine and feminine energies. But I think for some of you, um, it's about putting this make it matriarchal thing more uh, up on your 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 level of priorities, right? It's particularly if you have felt um, oppressed in some way by some kind of patriarchy within your family. Also, some of you may have felt oppressed by some kind of matriarchy within your family. 
So whether it is your mother or father that have been um, keeping you stuck in some way in life because, you know, we all are human beings and having a child does not come with a handbook. So every single one of us is going to make some mistakes. Um, Some people make a lot more mistakes than others. So I feel like it's about making peace with some sort of female, particularly within our lives. Um, Whether that is through an open conversation, whether that is through some inner work of forgiveness, if we can get to that stage. Um, Sometimes forgiveness can be very difficult if the person involved doesn't take accountability. So I definitely feel that as you're moving through letting go of some of the things from your past, um, particularly involving a female in your situation, um, it's going to feel very freeing when you get to the end of doing that kind of uh, shadow work, if you want to call it that Scorpio, and then really finding that balance and realizing that, um, you know, your your mother and father um, inside of yourself, um, not only scientifically by DNA, but um, we are all part of where we have come from and so we can't separate ourselves completely from that but I guess all we can do Scorpio is take the good parts of what has happened uh, through our lives and and hold on to them um, whilst separating ourselves somewhat from the trials and tribulations and taking our power back in a very profound way so a a month of a lot of healing but a lot of rewards as well so intense yes positive definitely challenging at times probably but ultimately I feel as you're moving into at the end of April into May there will be this much um, more sense of freedom and sense of self that perhaps you haven't felt for quite a long time Scorpio. So there you have your April 2021 tarot card reading. Thank you so much for joining me this month and sharing uh, the space with you. I so look forward to reading for you again next month. But if you would like to reach out to me for that live one-to-one consultation, uh, I'd be honored to work with you. And I'll leave that information of how you can do that in the description box beneath this video. But until we speak again next month, stay safe and take care. Alyssa.